So once assets are ready, we will move them to the Digital Asset Management Board. That's here. This is where you can store, organize, and manage all creative assets so that you can always locate them easily at a later date. You can upload assets from your storage tools, like Google Drive, Dropbox, or Box, and we are about to add Adobe Creative Cloud Library to keep your assets in one place. Now the Cards view, which I'm showing you now, is a great default view for a digital asset management board because it shows a visual of each asset at the top of each card here, you can see. You could set the default as this board view on the three dot menu. So here I click set as board default. This is already the default, which is why it's grayed out, but maybe I want to change the main uh, table back to the board default and I could do that. You can filter and sort the cards view any way you want. Uh, for example, you could sort by the last updated column um, or you could sort by the due date uh, or you could sort by the due date. So here's like last updated, that'll change um, the way it shows up. And then I'll save it to this view just to keep that sort. I wanna keep the most recent assets at the top. Now the main table shows, and I'll just close this out to make it a little bit clearer for you. The main table shows our assets arranged in groups according to type. So we have our new assets, but then we have videos, logos, images, and I could add anything else. Like maybe I would add text or creative briefs or something like that. Uh, the files view, which I'm going to show you here, shows all the files you have on the board and nothing else. So while the cards view shows you uh, smaller versions of the files and then all the column information, the files view here, it just shows you the files and that's it. So that's great if you all you want to focus on are the files. Okay, I think we're good for this chapter and meet me in the next one where we'll look briefly at how to report on your campaigns.